This is one sweet RV. Let's open up and tour a 2022 Forest River Rockwood Signature Ultralight 8263 MBR. Hello and good morning everybody. This is Chris with Great Escapes RV Supercenter and it is my pleasure to tour this awesome travel trailer with you guys today. We're gonna walk around the outside, show off some of the cool features with the unit closed up. Then we're gonna get on the roof and do the same thing. Then we're gonna go inside, show you the unit with it closed, show you how practical it would be if you had to be parked on the side of the road to maybe catch some Z's, cook a meal, or maybe use the restroom. How easily accessible is this RV? Then we're gonna take, open it up together and give you a final overlook at this 2022 Rockwood Signature Ultralight. Thank you so much for joining us today. Let's go ahead and rock and roll. So I have to admit, as far as the options and the features on this RV, this is one of the reasons why I stressed in the beginning that this is such an awesome RV. Um, of course, we're gonna go ahead and get into it. Very cool features on here. You've got a power tongue jack on here. This comes in extremely handy, especially if you're docking up at night. It's got a little convenience light. You've got dual 30 pound propane tanks, which you fill upon your purchase, as well as provide you with a battery and you have an additional slot to add another. Nice little diamond guard rock plate on here as far as rock chips goes. You've got a fully molded fiberglass front cap on here with the LED running lights and an automotive grade front windshield. Your tent level is at a 20%, very cool. This is a six sided aluminum cage construction. Very awesome, frameless glass windows, uh, vacuum bonded uh, fiberglass sidewalls, heated and enclosed underbelly. You've got a nice 19 foot full span awning on here with the built in LED light strip and the AlumaGuard on there. So that definitely will help out as far as protecting the material, uh, your awning material for the long haul. Very awesome. Um, you're gonna open up right here. You're gonna see, this is actually a very unique layout. Uh, this is the front, of course, compartment for the under portion of your kitchen. So you can see everything in there as far as being able to access that for servicing. Uh, you've got a convenient little table out here. You also have um, four point electronic um, leveling uh, system on here with the auto level feature, which is pretty sweet. Of course, your inverter right here. Very awesome RV on the inch and a quarter thick slam latch baggage doors. Absolutely love it. The button for your docking lights is right here, as you can see. Very cool. You've got solar on the side prep. You also have a 190 watt solar panel on the roof, but you guys can tie in another solar panel right here. You also have a thousand watt inverter. There is the section right there for your uh, leveling jacks. Very nice. It's got the auto level feature as well. Of course, enclosed and heated underbelly, 12 volt heating tanks, or heating pads, very cool. You have a full size spare tire as well. This is gonna have uh, your water heater. Nice setup in there. It's a six gallon hot water or water heater. I'm gonna go ahead and take that and close it up. Like so. You got a little vent out here as well. Of course, uh, this is the 8263 MBR with the front kitchen. You have a great setup right here with the Goodyear Endurance USA made tires, Dexter axles and suspension system. You also have the electronic self adjusting uh, brakes, uh, 15 inch aluminum rims on here as well as tire pressure monitoring sensors. Very awesome section right here for potable water. If you guys want to carry with you uh, um, some water to be able to keep that uh, when you're dry camping, you've got exterior mounted marine grade speakers. You've got a section right there where they've already installed the mount to be able to have an outside TV. Of course, cable TV and satellite output, 110 power port. There's the bracket right here for your outdoor accessories, whether that be a griddle or a table. Open this up right here. You're gonna have a hot and cold setting as well to be able to have an outside spray shower, rinse off the kids, rinse off the dogs. Hot point refrigerator, micro fridge. Open this up. Nice, you also have a little sprayer right there as well on the inch and a quarter thick slam latch baggage doors. Coming back here, and those also have the magnetic catch. You got LED lights on the top, bottom, and on the sides. Your pre-wire for the Furion backup camera. You've got a ladder to gain access to your fully walkable roof. Nice little luggage rack back here with about a 200 to 250 pound capacity with a two inch receiver back here as well. Awesome, 35,000 BTU furnace as well too. So that is a, that's a pretty heavy duty furnace for an RV of this size. Open this port. This actually has a Hell House water filtration system and this is the access area to be able to um, change out that water filter, which I'll put that camera in there. Maybe you can see it. There you go. Simply close that. Let's go ahead and go up on the roof. Show off the rest of this stuff with one hand. Hopefully I don't fall. 
Uh, you got dual AC upgrade. You also have a 190 watt solar panel. You have your antenna right there with Wi-Fi capabilities and LTE prep. Uh, also your Air 360 siphoning vents. You got a suite set up with dual max air vent fans in the front and in the rear with the rain cover. So you guys can have those puppies uh, up and running with it open, not have to worry about rain getting inside. That air vent 360 right there uses basically the Venturi effect. Positive pressure on the outside, negative pressure on the inside, creates that vacuuming to help prevent the black water smell to enter into your RV with a nice skylight. Very awesome. Let's get down here. All right, and I didn't get hurt. <laughs> this is gonna be a 50 amp service. It's the opposite side right here for your convenience center. You can see you can uh, uh, antifreeze for winterization, city water connection right here. You got your tank flushing, cable TV, satellite inputs. You have an additional little hot water or a shower out here with hot water and cold water. Convenient little light when you're doing this at night. Your dumping section right here, awesome opposite side of that really awesome leveling system open this right here you're gonna see this is a critical thing I really like to talk about look up into uh, a lot of these other units underneath the beds and you're gonna see it's a lot of wood framing uh, same thing with your booth dinettes uh, with rockwood and a lot of Forest River products uh, they use all uh, the aluminum so that's a really sweet um, value added as far as durability and longevity and especially in the areas where you're going to have you know quite a bit of traffic whether that be in the bed or uh, you know in a, a booth dinette oh, yeah! definitely comes in handy I like that a lot on magnetic catch inch and a quarter thick slam latch baggage doors sweet it's going to be dual slides on this of course I said frameless glass windows open this port up right here you're going to see you have another little nook for additional storage you guys can kind of customize that and modify it the way uh, on your camping style on the slam latch baggage doors this rv is beautiful guys let's go ahead and go inside and let's check this out let's open it up so of course i say it all the time i don't claim to know everything there is to know in the rv industry because then that just doesn't make it fun i'm here just to simply show off some cool rvs there's no competition. Just here to show off RVs, show you guys the cool stuff in the RV industry. I don't, uh, I don't always get everything right. I might miss something every now and again, but that's why we have a free training class and a campground to help you get acclimated. And of course, if you have any additional questions, I'm more than happy to help out answering them or at least finding the answer for you. Getting into this a little bit further, you got the more right entry step upgrade. This is pretty sweet. It's got a built-in strut. Um, so you basically can lift that with a pinky. It's going to hold in place. You're pre-drilled and tapped as well to add in an additional handlebar accessory. Maybe you got bad knees, maybe you're elderly, or you just want confidence and peace of mind being able to enter and exit. Of course, make sure your sill plate matches up properly so your door can open and close. This is a friction hinge door. Um, it's got, of course, the Rockwood difference, which I'll go ahead and put on the screen as well. Uh, additional screenshot, and then you have a privacy curtain for uh, additional privacy at your front door. Let's go ahead and walk inside this and give you guys the first look at this unit. So I have to highlight very high ceilings. This is actually 86 inches of interior height. So this is definitely a tall, people-friendly uh, RV. It's pretty sweet. Of course, 5 8 tongue and groove uh, plywood sub subfloor. Insulation factors on this RV is actually R7 in your sidewall, R12 in the floor, and R14 in the ceiling. As you can see with the slides closed, it doesn't have the best amount of uh, access in here. You still have an area where, you know, if you wanted to sit down to catch some Z's or if you guys did need to get into the refrigerator, it's a little tight squeeze, but you could do that. You still have a good amount of access up here to be able to, you know, use the, uh, the appliances if you're parked on the side of the road. Um, it doesn't have smooth access to get to the bathroom but in the event that you needed to pull over to use the restroom you didn't want to use a gas station i mean i'm i'm very comfortable with just crawling over the bed to be able to use the bathroom and of course it only takes a couple of seconds to open these slides which we're going to go ahead and do so first of course the bedroom slide that is a section right here as you can see this is the opposite end of your convenience center this is your solar charge controller Right here, tire pressure monitoring system, uh, which will help you set up upon the purchase of the RV. Uh, with the One Control app, which you guys can be able to um, control the RV from the convenience of your phone. 
Wi-Fi Ranger right here. You guys go to a campground, free Wi-Fi. This acts as a booster. It also get, has LTE capability, so you guys can go to your cell service provider, activate another line. This becomes a rolling hotspot. Very cool. Checking all of your fluid levels, whether that be fresh water, black water, grade one and grade two. Of course, your battery level, hitting your Wi-Fi. Water heater, whether you're running off of gas or electric, you guys can hit that at the same time, both of those for a quicker recovery option if you're using multiple tanks. Your 12 volt tank heating, your water pump, so when you have that outside potable water I was mentioning about to carry it with you, you wanna pressurize the faucets, you can do that. Awning extension and retraction, slide out one and two, and of course, all, the, all of your lightings, interior, interior, porch, awning, and then of course your step lights as well. So we press slide out one, and first slide out one is gonna be the kitchen slide out. This is a rack and pinion style slide out. Once it gets to its fullest extent, you're gonna hear a type of, uh, I guess, I call it the drum roll. It's kinda of hard to hear, but um, you, can, uh, you can hear that once it comes to this fullest extent, right about here. There's the drum. And then the next one is our bedroom pressing out so do the same concept as well gets to its fullest extent you're gonna hear that little roll and then it lets you know that it's when you need to let off the button All right. so that took not too long just a couple seconds so you still be able to you know open your uh, your slide outs if you did need to on the side of the road to be able to access more of the features inside this RV but as you can see you've got much more room to be able to move around now the of course walk-in you know, front portion of the kitchen and stuff is all opened up. What a beautiful layout. This is a very unique floor plan. This is a really nice uh, couple's camper. You know, as far as a unique layout, a good build, just a lot of nice features in here. Very nice. Let's go ahead and jump into this. So, of course, waking up in the morning, you guys are cooking and eating your breakfast at this nice little table section right here. It's got the nice high chairs on there as well. You can be able to do some work from your laptop. You got a nice sound bar right here. IRV Technologies, AM, FM, Bluetooth, CD, DVD. You got HDMI section right here, multi-zone selection, whether it's on the inside or the outside. An insignia, big flat screen TV. 1.3 cubic foot microwave by Magic Chef. Very nice. Of course, the Greystone hood, so when you guys are uh, frying up the bacon. Also has the Magic Chef three burner uh, stove top with the tempered glass insert. Definitely highlight this as well. Don't cook on top of this, it's not a good idea. You always have this up and out of the way. The only time you'd ever have this in place is if you're just wanting it for additional countertop prep space. I've had some people in the past, they thought that that was something you could cook on and it's tempered glass, it'll shatter it to a thousand pieces. So you got a convenience light here, so if you're moving around at night, press this down, it turns on the oven light. You got plenty of cabinet storage and stuff in here. Of course, solid steel ball bearing drawer glides. There's all the information as far as the manuals for the, the system. Tire pressure monitoring system. You've got a built-in filtration cartridge for your, on, your whole house water filtration system. Nice, solid surface countertops, plenty of prep space. I really like that a lot, especially for an RV of this size. Um, hardwood cabinetry, hidden hinges. This is just a beautiful, beautiful setup. The interior color actually on this is the autumn wood cabinetry with the Newport Ash interior. It's nice. You've got a Magic Chef um, 12 volt refrigerator as well. It's got a turbo cooling feature, which is really awesome because I've only had this plugged in about 15, 20 minutes. And I mean, it is, it's cold in there. I feel very comfortable with putting perishable items. Of course, all of your, your drawers and stuff as well, soft closed drawers, I love that. Very cool, you got a GFI right there as well. Of course, tire pressure monitoring sensors. Look out the front of your automotive grade front windshield. Got a nice little MCD um, UV blocking shade and then a blackout shade. Of course, LED tap lights throughout. When you buy a Forest River uh, RV, you become a frog owner and they got all kinds of really cool uh, benefits and events and stuff at their facility up in Indiana. Very nice, I like the updated backsplash on there. There's that updated Max Air Vent fan with the built-in rain cover already on it. I love walking into a Rockwood product with these roofs. I mean, I feel very comfortable with walking on a roof like that. That definitely is a nice build. 
You've got the Millersburg Collection Theater style seating. This is actually a button right here to increase or decrease the lumbar support. Very nice. Of course, a section here for your cups. Press this up. You've got 110 power port as well as USB charging. Lift this up and out of the way. You've got, uh, of course, the frameless glass windows with emergency exit. Uh, carbon monoxide, smoke detector, fire extinguisher, all the safety features a typical RV should have. Of course, the MCD shades that are the blackout, really nice. Updated valances, you got LED lights. There's the control section right here to be able to operate your max air vent fan. There is your thermostat. You've got an additional section right here for more storage, be able to hang up some of your uh, jackets and stuff. Maybe you don't want to. I like that Forest River doesn't uh, permanently mount the shelving depending on your camping lifestyle. Coming up into here, nice king size bed upgrade this is nice of course all the pillows and the blankets come with it as well i like that they added in those additional little shelves on top you know if you have maybe a cpap machine um, or you know you're charging some accessories that's a pretty sweet and then you also have 110 power on both sides very cool i like these lights as well you got usb charging on the front tap it once it turns it off tap it again it turns blue tap it it turns it off and then hold it down and it turns white into a night light very cool more storage up above what an awesome rv a little bit further of course insignia flat screen tv you've got a section to be able to store all of your clothes and stuff in here plenty of drawer and cabinet storage your uh, fuse panel box right there 110 power port as well as usb charging this is what i was talking about outside with the um, aluminum framing on the booth dinette and the beds that's really awesome here's the rest of your uh, stuff right here for the outside table and your um, your griddle that's very cool let's take and close this coming back here this is really awesome so of course as you're looking on your left you've got a his and hers sink with vanity that's a nice setup you've got plenty of drawers and cabinet storage in there as well mirrors they hook you up with a nice Dometic toilet porcelain and then a nice walk-in shower. This is awesome. Last but not least, the creme de la creme. This shower miser is a really awesome feature that I love to talk about in a lot of these videos. Um, it's basically, it's just gonna save you so much time and headache um, as far as being having to dump your gray tank. So you turn on your hot water, naturally the water's you know, gonna run, but it's gotta take some time to get hot. Well, that water is, uh, you know, it's filling up your gray tank. Well, with this system in here, you turn on your hot water, simply close this line, it turns into a recirculation. And once it gets, uh, this blue sleeve turns white, then you have hot water on demand. So it saves you a lot of time, saves you as far as filling up your gray tank. And personally, I think it's an excellent feature to be able to have on a travel trailer uh, especially of one of this quality very awesome of course right here you've got the rain sensor as well by max air vent with the uh, cover this is really sweet another uh, controller and stuff right here as well they give you a nice little power tower updated appliances or your uh, your faucets and stuff they're all black now that's cool awesome awesome uh, smell that of course you don't that's that 360 siphoning vent Plenty of storage in here. I've got a nice uh, 360 tour online that you guys can be able to walk around and see this in much better perspective than what you can see just through this camera. So I highly recommend clicking on the link below. It'll definitely give you a much better uh, view of the whole entire RV and it's, it's more interactive. You can open up and look into cabinets and the refrigerator. Last but not least, let's go ahead and open this door and let's open up the awning. So we're gonna go extend now this has the Aluma Guard on here, as you can see right there. So when it rolls up, that aluminum panel is basically going to protect this awning material and prolong the life of your awning. So that's a very great upgrade to have. Of course, LED light strip. This is a 19 foot awning. Plenty of shade for the friends and family. Now this awning is brand new. And so sometimes, um, like right there, you can see that that's actually at its fullest extent, but the flap stuck at the top because it's a new RV. So what you do is you're gonna back it up, there it is. And then at that right there, that lets you know that it's completely open. So now we'll give you a final overlook. Of course, it's the Solera awning. So if you guys want to take it, you guys can pitch it to one side or the other, depending on how the rain falls off. Definitely be careful though, when you guys are leaving the campsite or if you're going to bed and you're leaving your awning open, unfortunately, awning damages are usually caused by user error and it's not covered by warranty. So. If you're going to have a freak storm come in or if you just don't know, it's much better to just go ahead and put your awning in.
Ladies and gents, this is a beautiful RV. I, uh, I really appreciate y'all's time and patience with me today. I ask that you guys please like and subscribe, comment and share. If you guys have an RV that you guys wanna see a video tour on or even a 360 tour, look at our uh, website, www.rvstobuy.com. Let us know in the comment section below and I'd love to add it to my list. Thank you all so much for your time. Have a, have a great day and happy camping. Headed on down the road On a new adventure Wherever we go Thanks to Great Escapes Great Escapes RV